Well, we, we shot the ball very well tonight, uh, but we really didn't have a hard time you know, getting stops on the defensive end. Uh, really disappointed with our you know, our bite on our defensive end. We just kind of were on our heels, it seemed like. Uh, they hit some tough shots, and we knew coming in they could shoot the ball. Uh, Hale and, and Hill and those guys, they've scored points in, in every game they've been in, so we knew they were capable, but uh, they sure got a rhythm going to their offense and we tried to d disrupt that rhythm with a couple traps and that but we uh, really had a hard time with it. So uh, a lot of things defensively to work on. Uh, offensively probably the only thing I was disappointed with were the turnovers and uh, uh, some of our execution was not sharp but uh, the turnovers are, are definitely a problem. Coach, how close are you to having a starting five for this team? Well, yeah, our, our turnover, you know, we had 33 points off turnovers, so, you know, we did, especially our salon, created a lot of havoc, havoc with, with his feet and, you know, his quick hands, uh, you know, so I was really pleased with, with his effort, but, uh, and yeah, the turnovers, you know, were, were gambling maybe a little too much at times, but, you know, I want to free the guys up to make some plays, but, gave up, you know, they shot the ball 56%, which you know, just not a good defensive stand. They started out slowly um, before going on that 13-0 run early in the first half. What sparked it? Well, I'm not sure those the steals, you know, we got you know a few easy ones off our defense and, uh, you know, that on our transition, you know, enabled us to get some easy ones there. So, we just kind of turned it up a notch, you know, when get out and extend if, if we're not you know, fully aware the ball is, aware of where the ball is and, and off into that ball and have all five guys engaged, you know, our defense can look pretty bad because we're so extended. And, uh, they caught us in those cases tonight. Dan, Arslan had a great game, obviously, there's been a lot of talk about him as a player describing high basketball IQ. How would you describe what makes him such an effective player and, and what is allowed him to step in and put, put together a game like this after a couple months? Well, he's, you know, he's really bright. He's a very intelligent young man. He's, he's picked up everything we do, you know, very quickly. Uh, his experience, he's, he's, uh, he's a talented young man. He's, he's got great feet. He's, he's tough. He goes after ball boards, you know, against Cincinnati. He had 15 boards, and, you know, we were getting pounded there early, and he, evened it out for us, gave us a chance. And so, you know, I, I think he's got a lot of qualities that, uh, you know, a good basketball player, you know, his feet, great hands, great awareness, uh, very unselfish, and, uh, you know, he's a very good athlete. You know, like I said, quick feet, quick hands, balance is pretty good. Uh, you know, he's, he's a very good athlete. When he committed to come here, did you expect him to be able to, to do this this quickly? This you, uh, you know, absolutely. I, I I knew when he decided to come, you know, he was going to make a tremendous impact on our team. So, uh, you know, all, all you have to do is watch a little film of him, and uh, you can see his instincts are very good, his awareness is very good, and like you said, the athleticism is very very. Good. With that being said, when uh, you know. That and, and what he did tonight, how excited were you, how happy were you when you found out that he was eligible a couple weeks ago? Well, we were pretty happy. You know, he, uh, he'd been banged up a little bit since he got here, so, you know, everybody wasn't real aware, and, you know, his condition was just a little bit behind, but he's quickly, you know, getting himself to the point where he's going to play a lot of minutes for us. And uh, so I, we were all excited. Uh, we knew that, um, you know, he added depth, and, and we definitely, you know, allowed some of the freshmen to come along with their pace. Coach, Artis scored 16 points tonight. He seemed really in control when he had the ball in his hands. Uh, he shot high percentage as well. 
Can you just talk about his offensive performance tonight? Yeah, I, I thought he did a lot of good things offensively. The four turnovers, you know, were a concern. But other than that, you know, he came off, he had some pretty good looks and, and knocked them down. Uh, I, I thought he I thought he played really good offensively. You know, I thought defensively at times he wasn't quite as sharp as what he needed to be. But uh, offensively, I thought he did a lot of good things. Are you serious on Willie Moore? I mean, I'm sorry. Willie wasn't in uniform tonight? Uh, he sprained his ankle in practice. Not a long term? No, no. I, I, I'm hoping he'll be ready Saturday. Just twist for a little bit. Um, coming out of that 13 0 run with the timeout, what did you say in the timeout to spark the run? Oh, I don't think I told him anything too good. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I just was disappointed we weren't, you know, a little bit more aggressive defensively. The first TV timeout came in, we'd given up 14 points, you know, and then the second four minutes we gave up seven, the third four minutes we gave up five, you know, so we're headed in the right direction, and then, you know, we open the second half and they get 15 in the, in the, in the first, you know, so I mean, we just uh, defensively couldn't get on top of it, and a lot of credit goes to them, they, they knew what they wanted to do, they stretched us out, and, and they knocked down shots. You know, they, they shot the ball extremely well. How did the game change after uh, Hale went down with the injury and missed the rest of the game? Well, that was a big factor. He, he was chewing us up. You know, I mean, just look at his stat line. He was six for nine from the field, four for five from three. And uh, he had a big game like that at Old Dominion. Um, they beat Old Dominion on the road. He had 29, so he was very capable. Earlier this week, you talked about eliminating offensive rebounds for the opponent. Only three tonight. Um, well, I tell you, we, we got some transition baskets early, and, and they kind of, you know, got back. You know, they, they didn't go to the boards. You know, and when you shoot 56 percent, there's not nearly as many offensive rebounds to get. So, you know, I thought we did a decent job on the boards. Uh, we won it by 12. You know, but uh, they're not a good rebounding team. Their stats, uh, they have not rebounded the ball well this year. So, uh, it was better, but uh, not where it needs to be. I mean, point total shooting percentage, you know, everything says pretty good offense tonight. Have you evaluated as your best this year or all around? Oh, I don't, you know, I don't, when you have 18 turnovers, Bob, it's just hard to get excited about it. You know, um, our, our ball movement wasn't there. You know, like I said, we shot it so much better. Vegas, I thought our ball movement was good, but we went three for 19 from three, you know, and, and our ball movement after the horrible start against Cincinnati wasn't bad, but again, we went five for 17 from three there. We just didn't shoot the ball. Uh, tonight we hit some shots, we had some open shots. The transition game was a little better. So it, it was a better offensive game for us, but um, we, we definitely got to cut those turnovers down. We, we've got to make simpler plays until everybody gets on the same page. We're, we're trying to make some plays. We just haven't played long enough together to make those kind of plays. We, Trying to break in a lot of new guys, simple right now would be really good. And you know, we can cut those those numbers down. We're just trying to make too tough a plays too quickly, and it's it's running our, our turnover total way up. Any more questions? All right, thanks.